What's up, truth seekers? Welcome back. I am so ready for this election to be over, done, finished. As I was listening to news break about the FBI's reopening of the Hillary email investigation, as well as fessing up that the Clinton Foundation, which does so much good in the world, doesn't it, is also under investigation. Imagine if X-Files were still around. Instead of James Comey, we could have like David Duchovny here. Just saying. Anyway, it looks like after years of building up a criminal enterprise, enriching herself with the assistance of shady characters, and always being one step ahead of the authorities, that Hillary might actually bite the bullet because of a wiener oversight. Sorry, a small wiener. A small oversight. Anyway. It actually reminded me of watching Breaking Bad when Walter White retired and got off with his crimes scot-free, except that, like Hillary, he had found his calling. His passion, the one thing that gave him pleasure and meaning above all else, and he just couldn't give it up, even if it would eventually end with his complete shame and demise, the utter destruction of his legacy, which is where Hillary's current path leads. Then I started thinking about it, and I realized these two have way more in common than just an insatiable urge for power, and the opportunity, if they took it, to leave and ride off into the sunset with their millions and ill-gotten gains, with nobody being the wiser. But that's just where the similarity starts. So here are some of my arguments for why Walter White actually is Hillary Clinton. Neither Hillary nor Walter were blessed with good looks, magnetic personalities, or basic social skills. But both are master manipulators. That's why you're doing all this. You want to make some cash for your people before you check out. Both Hillary and Walter sought to befriend and then be mentored by petty criminals with a knowledge of the inner workings of the crime world. But you know the business. I'm thinking maybe you and I could partner up. Wow. Both Hillary and Walter would eventually run laps around their former teachers. Both Hillary and Walter are afflicted with life-threatening diseases with visible side effects, including erratic behavior, Confusion, memory loss, dizziness, and coughing spells. The administration. We assume you won't be. You know this show. I was reading in the paper yesterday, and this is what happens in these long campaigns. You get the. Yes. Well, you know what? I won't hold you on here uh, any longer. Both Hillary and Walter embezzled from their public employer at the expense of the taxpayers. Both Hillary and Walter have a kid who looks nothing like one of their parents. Both Hillary and Walter are trying to take the job of a black, metrosexual sociopath. Both families were forced to pay hush money to the partner of their spouses to keep illicit and sexual indiscretions from exposing the dark deeds of the criminal family underworld. Where is the money? I gave it to Ted. Ah! Both Hillary and Walter were willing to watch others die in real time without coming to their aid in order to further their ambitions. Now, this emotion here is called remorse. I was able to locate a clip of Hillary displaying this emotion. Now, I read somewhere that writing for Walter White's character was kind of like writing for the devil. But I wonder, if the devil were running for president... Would you vote for him? Now, say my name. Hilsenberg. You're goddamn right. Well, that hurts my feelings. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! But I'm a big fan of money. I like it. I use it. I have a little. I keep it in a jar on top of my refrigerator. I'd like to put more in that jar. That's where you come in. <laughs> 